With that opening phrase of the 1865 opera Tristan und Isolde, we heard Wagner changed history. In so many areas, music, literature, philosophy, just the way that people thought about music and listened to it, this piece was incredibly influential. And even today, despite being this absolutely beloved masterpiece, it is still rare to have a chance to see it performed live. Part of that is just the forces that it takes to put it on and the commitment that it takes for to put on, you know, a, a five hour long, just epic work. And at the Eugene Symphony, this is going to be the largest project that we have ever taken on. But we're also going to break it up over three seasons into three parts, one for each one of the acts. And so on April 21st, I'm so excited to take and start this journey with all of you with Act One of Tristan Udisolde. In the first part of the program, I'll actually take us through this piece so that we can really immerse ourselves in the musical themes, in the story, uh, in the wider ideas and influences around this piece. And this is not just uh, an important project because of its scope for us, but I think this is a piece that we need to grapple with. It's a piece that long after its last notes have faded, it's not just about that immersive, intoxicating musical world that Wagner creates, but it's how we, it affects how we think about ourselves, how we think about our relationships with each other, our society, uh, the nature of love, power, greed. Um, it's such an all-encompassing piece. And it's important that we do take time with this masterpiece, just like we do with, say, Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. It's one of those pieces that we learn about ourselves. We learn about our own history um, through the story, through the music of Tristan and Isolde. So we look forward to seeing you on April 21st for the start of this incredible journey.